Thank you, Julie, for introduction. introduction. Uh, good evening, uh, good afternoon, all the delegations from uh, Eurojust surveys and, and foreign countries abroad. Uh, my name is again Young Juri. I am director of the Sister of Technical Secretariat. Uh, first of all, I really congratulate the 50th anniversary of uh, Eurojust survey. And then uh, it's my great uh, privilege and honor to be here to give you a presentation on uh, CCOP. I just focus on the uh, the the work we have been done uh, for CCOP for a while. This uh, this very picture is uh, the our recent annual session, which was convened in Bandung, Indonesia. So even uh, still pandemic situation, we have been uh, altogether 134 delegations from 15 countries come together. So actually, we have a uh, 16 member countries and 14 countries. So uh, I'm very happy at least we have uh, half of them is join the meeting in person. And then, of course, there are some more online uh, participants. It is a kind of hybrid meeting we have been done, this, uh, this one. Okay. CCOP stands for Coordinating Committee for Geoscience Programs in East and South Asia, uh, which was initiated in, on the UN in 2016, uh, 1966. And then we we become an intergovernmental organization in 1987. And we celebrate our 50th anniversary in 2016. And we are here now at uh, altogether 16 member countries and 14 cooperating countries, and then one of the 17 cooperating organizations. So our member country is Brunei Darussalam, uh, Cambodia is alphabetical order, China, Indonesia, Japan and Korea, where actually I come from, I'm Korean, basically, but now I'm living in Bangkok because the headquarters of CCOP is in Bangkok. So if you have a chance to come to Bangkok, please come by uh, my uh, small office. And then Malaysia, uh, Lao PDR Malaysia, Mongolia, uh, Myanmar, uh, PNG, Papua New Guinea, uh, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, Timor Leste, Vietnam. All of them is mostly the government. Uh, represented by government, except maybe Korea is half government. The key game is not uh, not government entity, but it's kind of half government. And then during the survey of Japan is also kind of half government. And and then Singapore is represent, represented by Nanyang Technological University, which is a professor of uh, of US, is representing our member country. And from uh, corporate countries. We have Australia, Geoscience Australia, the, uh, Steve Hill is uh, my partner, and Belgium, Vanessa here, and then Canada, of course, and in the and then Finland, GTK, and the France, BRGM, and the Germany, is, uh, Larf is here, and then the Netherlands, is the survey of Netherlands, and Norway, Poland, and Russia, and Sweden, and United Kingdom, BGS, Karen is here also, and then United States of America will. So we, uh, at the moment, we have 14 uh, cooperating countries. So we are um, uh, really welcome to more countries to join to our cooperating countries to have some collaboration. So what is the advantage of the CCOP? I think uh, at least if you want to some collaboration with multiple nations in East and South Asia, CCOP is the right place. You just tap CCOP, you can tap 16 member countries together. That is one of the uh, most important advantages. And then more than uh, almost 60 years, we've been working very closely. So we call ourselves CCOP family, not a member country, because we know with each other very well. And that even they know their families and so on. So we have, because we have a, some spouse program during our meeting, even it is an intergovernmental, very actually formal meeting, because we are heritage from 
uh, from from UN. We have all the flags, and then with formal our meeting, but we have a spouse program, and then sometimes uh, their 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 spouses are invited to have some programs so on. And then in addition, we have a a cooperating organizations such as uh, Eurogeo Survey is of course one of the most strong uh, partner for in, in the cooperating organizations, and then we have a uh, World Bank, UNS Cup and UNESCO, and then uh, YES uh, Network. YES is Young Earth Scientist Network in the world. So as I already mentioned, uh, we have been working together very closely with more than uh, 300 project cross-border, which is very important, as you do in ACME. Uh, we have a, some publication of the some uh, maps and some uh, kind of information uh, cross border of uh, between all our member countries, among our member countries, and then we have published uh, something like more than 800 uh, publications under the name of CCOP so far. And then CCOP technical secretariat, and then also uh, our seven member countries uh, joined as a member of WICO already. So we have a new strategic uh, plan. Uh, when I actually I was becoming a director, uh, and then that is something like a secretary general of CCOP from 2019. After that, we have a new strategic plan to 2021 to 2025. So we have uh, three different aims. Because CCOP is not like the European countries, we have uh, so many uh, the knowledge gaps between our member countries. So one of the, our aim is to provide real solutions to our member countries by having, so that is the, our first aim. Second one is that we try to, to, to uh, tackle the digital transformation of our mother earth and all our geoscience data set. And third one is because, as I already mentioned, we have very different uh, level of understanding in geosciences. We need uh, some promotions and capacity buildings on geosciences, which is those three are the, our uh, aim for next uh, couple of uh, next four or uh, five years. Okay, those are the our work scope. I'm not going into detail of those and but. Okay, so instead of that, I like to give you some information on how, what kind of project we have been ongoing actually on, on maybe next year. So we do have a, a urban geology project, which is supported by the Korea Institute of Geoscience and Mineral Resources, actually where, where I come from. And then we have another program, project of groundwater project from also KGM. And then also uh, geo geological data repository program from KGEM. I will have more detailed information later on if for some, not all, but some of the project. And then Geological Survey of Japan provides several projects such as groundwater and then uh, ground source heat pump project. So using the, uh, the, the sources, energy sources from underground. And then you have a, another database project called the GSI from uh, Julika Survey of Japan. And then from also from China, we do have integrated uh, geoscience data processing project. And also one of the China, uh, pro project from China is the uh, RCUG, Research Center for Urban Geology, which is uh, we have a, a kind of physical research center which is located in uh, one of the Chinese, uh, China Geological Survey uh, in Nanjing. So we have, it is called the CCOP RCUG, CCOP Research Center for Urban Geology. So the purpose is to try to have some international collaboration on urban geology issues by using that uh, facilities. And then also we have get involved in DDE project uh, from IUGS. And then we have several different uh, education program and for young generation program, such as uh, Geological Survey Japan provide international training program and the KIGAM from 2010, more than uh, 10 years, uh, keep continue having some program to, uh, to our member countries especially. 
and China also provides some uh, geoscience college ed education program. And then we have another program from KGAM, sorry, from uh, IRI. It is not KGAM, it is uh, International Environmental Research Institute of Korea, also provide six months internship program. So they invite some young generation from CCP member countries, and then to uh, have some uh, internship for six months. So all the costs will be covered by, uh, it is actually kind of a university. The university covers all the, so, so far we have more than 10 young generations have a chance to go to the Korea to have educated in, uh, by using this opportunity. And then we have a, a Geological Society of America keep providing us eager award, which is a, a kind of young uh, scholarship award to be given to Geological Society of America. So this year, uh, our, during our annual session, uh, we have a very, uh, uh, we have an awardee who is come from Cambodia. So uh, we are very happy to have that kind of opportunity uh, during our annual session, annual session. And then we have also another scholarship program from Korea. So Hanyang University provide a scholarship opportunity for three, three young generations from our member countries. So full scholarship and then also living cost was provided by the university. I'm now in number 15. And then uh, from next year on, uh, we will uh, have another project. It's an adaptation fund from UNESCO on groundwater. I will give you more information on that. And then now I'm working on the critical mineral project with ASEAN, which is not fully confirmed, but I'm very positive to have that project from next year on. Okay, I, I would like to give you more detailed information on several different projects, which is ongoing. So from 2004, Geological Survey of Japan provide a groundwater project. So we have, the proposal is that the, we compile all the uh, valuable aquifers from our CCOP member countries. So far we have collected more than 5,000 aquifers, which need to be databased. So uh, in our system, we have a more than uh, 5,000 aquifers in our region is uploaded. And then uh, KGAM also provides some groundwater project, which is ongoing. So uh, back to 2013, they started having some project. And then uh, we have a phase four now to more focus on the vulnerability assessment of the climate change in groundwater in Great uh, Mekong sub-region area. So we are more focused on the uh, Mekong region, which is uh, six countries together. To, uh, to realize the transboundary aquifer issues. And then uh, they, uh, they install, already installed the automatic monitoring system in the region to see the, what is the impact of the climate change into our groundwater in greater Mekong region. And this is adaptation fund which is already confirmed. And then uh, I also send a agreement uh, partnership of this one. So CCOP could be a project executive entity to deal with this project, which is also, as you can see from the title, groundwater resources in greater Mekong sub-region, collaborative management to increase climate change resilience. This is quite, how can I say, similar to the project which is done by, which is now going on by KIGAM. The KIGAM person is also very heavily get involved with this project. And then we will have uh, implement this project on the, the, uh, on the adaptation fund of UNESCO with YGREC and IWMI and other, other partner member countries from next year on. And then urban geology project. Uh, so we have a very successful uh, workshop in Singapore. Uh, and uh, so I'm, I'm very happy that uh, we have a participant from BGS, Marcos is there and to give a very good presentation. And then also some, uh, he also uh, provides some guidelines for next steps and so on. So the final goal, future task will be the, together with uh, cooperating countries, Marcos from BGS, uh, we try to uh, prepare some proposal to the World Bank or ADB targeting to 
to having some collaboration on urban geology issues because as you may know indonesia and most of the actual country in south asia they are they have very serious problems of urban geology they have some problems of sinking and then some and then also some problems of tsunamis and everything so so we need to figure out and then to have some proper project uh, to uh, to respond to that, that kind of issues and then this project was actually finalized in 2020 uh, under the collaboration with the geological survey of japan and our member countries so we have compiled our uh, magnet anomaly map uh, two by two grid one to four million scale. The scale scale is quite big but, but anyway uh, we have successfully collected uh, from 50 member countries participated it means almost more than 90 percent of the countries to to provide their own magnetic uh, data set uh, to be uploaded in gis format and then we have published that uh, that uh, MAMIA uh, project by the book and also by website in uh, GIS format. And GSI project is also one of the uh, projects which is supported by Geological Survey of Japan. So try to uh, upload and collect some uh, valuable maps. So far we have collected more than uh, 1,000 maps from our region. So, which is a huge amount of a data set, which is uh, uploaded in our G in our system in GIS format, and then they are now working on the phase two, which is started 2021, to having more uh, collection of valuable data set from our region. So, target for the phase two is to try to collect 2,000 uh, valuable geoscience maps in our region. And also Korea Institute of Geosci Korea Institute of Geoscience and Mineral Resources. They also collected some of the. Uh, they have provided a very decent uh, database system to all our member countries. The purpose is that to share the same kind of data set to have more uh, have more connectability, as, as uh, we mentioned, with, between our member countries. But. The, from the recent workshop in Phuket, we have found out that some of the, our member countries, they really need uh, that kind of system to be used in their own country. So uh, CCOP, together with uh, KIGAM, uh, uh, decided to provide more customized database system of this uh, GDR, uh, Geoscience Data Repository System. Actually, this one is uh, quite similar to the one in uh, the BGS as far as I, I understand. And then we are working on uh, the Deep Time Digital Earth Project, which is called DDE, initiated by uh, IUGS with the Sun Yat-sen University as a partner. Uh, so CCOP was invited to be a task force uh, project on uh, C, C means Southeast Asia a database and then big data system. So we tried to have big scientific uh, solve the big scientific issues. First of all, we collect some of data and then to solve some uh, issues by using those data sets. So data-driven solution is the target for that project. And then lastly, I would like to very briefly introduce, about, uh, introduce you about the ASEAN CCOP KIGAM project on critical mineral minerals titles, critical mineral management and strategy for a sustainable, sustainable environment in ASEAN. So we target to have the project from next year, uh, first three years is phase one. So uh, proponent is CCOP and Geological Agency of Indonesia, because Indonesia, as you may know, is one of the most important country in terms of critical minerals in our region. So we invite Geological Agency of Indonesia, our partner, to be a co-proponent of that project. And CCOP together with uh, KIGAM will implement this uh, project. And we will have some fund from ASEAN Korean Cooperation Fund, which is basically fund is come from Korea. So the purpose is that we try to expand the knowledge. It is more or less kind of education program and training program because ASEAN countries 
we call ANS, 10 ASEAN countries, they really need their country to be the investment destination for critical minerals. But reality is that, very to be frank speaking, uh, they need more education and capacity building on critical minerals. That's why I set up the project with Korean government and ASEAN. ASEAN is very keen, ASEAN Secretariat is very keen on this project. So we have four different pillars during our phase one, which is uh, knowledge improvement, so geological, geophysical surveys and new technologies on critical mineral and data processing and interpretation and some management. And the pillar number two is technical capacity building on in-house training by, and also uh, field ex exploration. Field exploration is al already confirmed with several different countries, Indonesia, of course, and Thailand. And then also Philippines, they have shown the intention to uh, provide some test field for the, for the uh, field insight uh, education and training. And then uh, we also, the number three is, is, an, is kind of request from ASEAN. They need to have a compile of the data set they have already have in uh, our ASEAN member states. On, in critical minerals. So we will uh, compile ASEAN member state uh, critical mineral distribution maps, and then uh, all the documents could be made in inventory. We will make an inventory for that. And then uh, we try to analyze the market demand uh, for critical minerals in our ASEAN member state, in our uh, Southeast Asian countries. And then, Meanwhile, we also try to set up some technology and, uh, technology and platform for the smart exploration technology on critical minerals. So actually this project, I also would like to uh, invite some of our member countries, I'm sorry, cooperating countries to have, if you have some intention to have some, uh, provide some uh, training courses and education to our uh, member countries very welcome, and then we have some, also uh, try to uh, set up some budget for uh, your travel and so on, okay? And then, uh, this is actually the, one of the last one. We have a annual session, and then a student committee meeting. So uh, our uh, next year's annual session, annual session is confirmed, the, confirmed, the venue will be Phuket, on November 29 to, uh, sorry, uh, October 29, November uh, next year. And then we have uh, some annual session, thematic session. So I uh, invite, I would like to invite you to at least some thematic session because thematic session is a kind of technical session that you can give us some technical uh, talks and presentations on several different uh, issues. So we will have a full day thematic session on day four, and then field discussion to Panga. Panga area is one of the uh, hidden treasure of Thailand, which is in Thailand. Okay, in conclusion, CCOP is very unique intergovernmental and international organization of geoscience in South, South, Southeast and East Asia. Is as I already mentioned, quite good platform, perfect platform to collaboration on geosciences in the countries of our region, East and South Asia. So uh, we could already provide a CCOP to have a step forward to have more uh, global, uh, to do implement more global uh, geoscience collaborations with more recent and uh, wider disciplines. And then I hope to be the kind of collaboration to be continued. And then I welcome all EGS and member countries to becoming either uh, another cooperating countries and then to join as a project to our uh, CCOP region. Thank you. Thank you.